OK, so now that we've covered all the ad placements and configuration, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up on the sidebar, which you don't see currently right now, is a gadget for recent posts and recent comments. So in order to do this, let's go back to your blogger layout. And on the right-hand side, you'll see a couple of gadgets, one being recent posts and recent comments. So what we're going to do is edit the recent posts and it's going to ask you for a feed. And what is a feed? A feed is basically an RSS feed, is what they're referring to. And you need to plug in your feed URL. Now, how do you get to feed URL? Good question. And that's easy, actually. If you go back to the blog and scroll up to the top, you'll see in the top right we have news feed and comments. And both of those URLs are the ones we want. So if you right click on the news feed, and you select copy link location and you go back to that window and you paste right click paste you, you just paste it in the feed URL so go ahead and save that and we're going to do the same exact thing for the recent comments go back to your blog right click on comments copy link location right click paste save that and now you're going to refresh your blog and if you look on the right hand side you will see we've dynamically created two new gadgets populating it with your most recent posts we selected five, which is the default, and your most recent comments. Pretty amazing that we can just utilize the gadgets to add these cool features built right into the sidebar of your blog. Now that we've configured those two gadgets, there's pretty much nothing left on the right-hand side that we need to configure any further. The live traffic feed is automatic, and it shows you who is coming to your blog and from where. The archives automatically is set up, but you do need to configure this uh, a little bit in order for it to work. The default archives, um, when you get the template, might be different than how this looks here. And in order to change that, you just go into your blogger, layout and go to the archives gadget and the default should be set to flat list but if for some reason it's set to hierarchy it'll look like this which just isn't correct for the template so you want to select flat list and then save that and then that's how it gets set up like this it's it's a much cleaner look than the uh, the stretched out version the categories automatically get set up based on how you set up the categories and the categories are basically equal to your labels so when you create a new post and put in a label this is what will show up as categories all right so what we're going to do next is change the image here at the top to uh, whatever you want if you have your own image you can upload it or if you just want to display the text and description of your blog you can easily do that as well so let's let's do that go back to your blogger template and when you're in the church uh, revolution church header you want to go ahead and hit edit and you can see I already have a blog title in here and a blog description and I'm using the default image which I'm sure you probably do not want um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and click remove image and when you when you install the template you should already have your description and uh, title set up um, but if you don't then you can just come in here and change things around so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and then if I go back to my blog and refresh it you'll see that the default image disappeared and now I have the actual text and description that I want pretty cool and if you do have another image that you'd rather have instead of using the default text and description that you have 
you can go in and add it the same way that we just did through modifying that piece. Just make sure that your image is not much larger than this box, otherwise it'll break the rest of the template and it won't look very good. So there's a couple things left that I want to cover, but after that we're pretty much done and you're ready to go. So what I'm going to show you now is the actual comments within a blog post. So if we click into one of the blog posts that I have, and you scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice we have four comments here. And the first three were entered by me, and the last one is an anonymous entry. And if you notice that the background for the anonymous entry is white, and when it's the author, being me in this instance, uh, post a comment, the background is gray. So it's a pretty cool feature that we've added into this template um, that differentiates you from the other commenters on your blog. Okay, now let's go back to your blog layout again, and I want to show you one other cool feature that we added in. Um, which most uh, aftermarket or uh, blogger templates do not include, and that's customizing the fonts and colors. So some of the free ones that you download off the web, um, if you click on this tab, nothing appears up here at all. And what we've done is made this built in so you have the ability to easily change uh, different parameters on your site. So if you want to change the, the blog title font to uh, Arial, you can just watch it change on the fly here if you want to make it bold and if you want to make it larger. All of this just easily done through this interface here. Um, some of these you cannot change like the black background. It's an image and you cannot change this through this interface, but the other ones you can pretty much go through and change as you wish. So now we've got the, the page uh, at the top, uh, a little red, and uh, page header text, we can change that to a nice blue. You see it changed on the fly up here. And then the nav bar color, give it a, a beautiful pink. But you get the point. You can easily just come in here, uh, change all the different colors if you want to customize it even further, and um, you know really make your template stand out from the rest. Okay, so I'm going to clear those edits I just made and go back to the page elements and then go back to the blog. So this concludes the tutorial series of setting up the Revolution Church Premium Blogger template. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post them on the actual um, page as a comment and either myself or one of the other uh, commenters will hopefully get back to you with a reply. But keep in mind every blog is different and uh, some widgets or gadgets will not work uh, in this template. I don't know which ones but some of them might be too big and break the right hand side and those are, those are all one-off uh, individual cases that we always can't have uh, an exact fix or answer to. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this series, this tutorial series on setting up the Revolution Church Premium Blogger Template. And uh, again, my name is David Cowgill, founder of eBlog Templates, and we'll talk soon. Take care. Thanks.